Developing story chaos at the baggage claim. Take a look at this scene right here from OIA. You see rows and rows of bags just sitting there. Yeah, we first showed you this scene last night, and that area is now roped off, and it's expected to get even worse as we head into a busy travel weekend. We have live team coverage for you tonight from the airport to the weather and the beaches. But we begin with Fox 35's Marlisa Goldsmith. She's joining us live from the airport tonight. Marlisa, most of those bags belong to United passengers. They do. Luann, get a good look at this. There are rows and rows and more rows of bags belonging to United passengers. The other airlines, if you take a look around, don't even compare. I spoke with an employee this afternoon who told me some of these bags actually got here on Wednesday, and days later, these passengers still don't have their bags. After flight cancellations and delays across the country, all travelers want when they land in Orlando is to start their vacation. Take a flight from Newark into South Carolina, then from South Carolina to here to Orlando. But as soon as you step off the escalator, you can't help but notice the hundreds of unclaimed bags sitting at baggage claim. I was hoping that my luggage is in here. I'm Yvette Cologne and her 10-year-old son, Eric, went up and down the rows of United, checking bag after bag, holding on to hope. The lady said to go to a beat, um, 22 to go to look for the luggage, and I looked um, at all the names, and I didn't find my mother's name. During the 13-day July 4th travel period, Orlando International Airport is expecting to see 2 million passengers come through. That's a 16% increase from last year. In addition to that, Airlines have been dealing with bad weather and staffing shortages that have forced airlines to delay or cancel flights, resulting in plenty of lost luggage. United Airlines has the most unclaimed baggage at OIA and sent Fox 35 a statement reading in part, our reliability continues to improve with far fewer cancellations today compared to previous days. We are grateful to our customers for their patience and our employees for working so hard to take care of them through this challenging week. It's um, it's pretty crazy. While this mother and son have to wait a little bit longer to begin their vacation, mom says she's trying to find the silver lining and use this as an opportunity for a teachable moment. That's annoying, you know, but I try to have patience. I have my 10 year old with me and I, I want him to learn to have patience. Yeah. All right, so when I reached out to the airport about the baggage issues, a spokesperson told me that it's isolated. This situation here is isolated to just one or two airlines here at the airport. And when it comes to handling these bags, it's on them. Reporting live from OIA tonight, Marlisa Goldsmith, Fox 35 News.